our store today, Show Family, with Hoda and Savannah, and um, as you just touched on it, you have to be gutted. That your other half this is like a therapy <laughs> session. <laughs> For all of us, right? Like, we're oh. just used to both of you. So I actually realized something super hilarious because, so Hoda, who has been my partner now for five and a half years, and March, it would have been our sixth year together, announced that she was leaving. And y'all probably saw me cry with such hysterics that people on the streets of New York were like, hey girl, it's gonna be okay. Like, she's not dying, you know? Um, but I was surprised by the news, and you know, I mean, she had told me a couple days before, and now it, it is settled with me. But one of the most hilarious things is that, you know, we're together all the time. So on the plaza, or guests, or whatever, now on this trip, people will come up to Hoda and be like, oh, Hoda, I'm so proud of you. That's such great news, I'm so proud of you. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here like the guy that got dumped. <laughs> worst breakup, and somebody comes up and they're like, say, good job, girl, you know, and you're like, wait, I'm still here. Uh, yes, we enjoy each other on camera, but we talk the entire time. She's one of, of my dearest friends, so we will stay friends, but it is going to be a huge um, void for me, for sure. I, can you give me any insight who you think should be my partner? <laughs> So we kind of just decided, um, I, guess I believe me, the first week my head was spinning and I think all of our heads were spinning, like what's going to happen? Because I, I had filled in for Kathy Lee Gifford for eight years before I got that job. You spent four years growing up in the historic White House and none of us have done that before. So. And I was actually in college, so I did spend eight years visiting, but I actually was living in a dorm room in Austin, Texas. So it's not quite as glamorous, but also it's a great place to visit. <laughs> well, tell us, you know, nothing can prepare you for growing up in the public eye and being chased by the paparazzi and having secret service protect you and follow your every move. So tell us some of like the stress that caused, because you know, you were young and just trying to be girls and go out. You've got these muscle guys, you know, all in your room. And fanny packs. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we, so my dad was the governor of Texas, but, and I was trying to explain this actually to Hoda while we were there. And I, I don't, maybe it's like, I don't know. But it felt like politics were really different then. Like we, none of us, my dad had security, but my mom, my sister, and I did it. We could walk everywhere in Austin. Austin was a much smaller city then. We could walk from the governor's mansion to restaurants as families. Like it wasn't, you would think that having a father as the governor of te Texas would prepare you for being the daughter of a president. But it's very, very different. Um, but I, you know, I think what my parents gave us, which is the best gift in the world, and, and I hope we all give our own kids this grace. I worry with social media that they're not allowed this, which is we were allowed to fail. And, and it was okay. We made mistakes. And by the way, we failed publicly. Like that must have been excruciating for my mother. We were on the cover of People magazine, you know? <laughs> and I'm sure she, and not excruciating, and they never once said, you've embarrassed us, or how could you do this to us? It wasn't about that at all. They were sorry. You know, they felt bad that they that they were that we were put in a position that other kids weren't put in.